Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online Casino DLC video. In this one I'm going to be going over the tons of information we got aside from the trailer. They made a whole website with information about it so that gives you an idea of how much stuff there is to go over. I'm going to try to make this video as short and to the point as I can while covering all the important information that we got. So let's start out with the newswire. Of course the Diamond Casino and Resort is opening on July 23rd. On the casino floor you'll be able to play 3 card poker. Blackjack, Roulette, and Slot Machines, and it says a variety of prizes are at your fingertips. And then there's going to be Inside Track Betting, which isn't real horses, it's virtual horse racing, but it's still the same experience. And lastly, there's the Lucky Wheel, where you can earn chips, cash, clothing, as well as cars. That Trafati supercar that was in the trailer that I went over is called the Thrax. And this is going to be the car that is available to win on opening week of the casino. And each week after that, the car that you can win is going to rotate. Now something interesting about this, it says to check the Rockstar support page for details and limitations. So I'm assuming that means that in some countries, this system isn't going to be allowed. So maybe there are other ways to get these cards aside from spinning the wheel. The property that you will be able to buy in this DLC is the penthouse, and from the sound of it, there are multiple tiers of it because it says the master penthouse gives access to the VIP membership status with aircraft and limo services, upgradable floor plans including a private spa and personal stylist, a bar and party area featuring retro arcade games, and a media room to watch movies in. And you'll be able to change the color palette and patterns as well as put some art out from the casino store. The customization is probably going to be like any other property we can buy where we can, we're allowed to change the pattern and the color of stuff. I doubt it's going to be that expensive. Also, with a master penthouse, you'll be able to take part in business activities with some new co-op missions. Each mission pays out awards for the first time you complete it, and if you beat all of them, you get a brand new car for free. So that sounds nice. And you can also call the head of operations, Agatha Baker, to take part in more work to earn more cash and chips. If you aren't already a member of Twitch Prime, you may want to become one this week because Twitch Prime members get access to the Master Penthouse for free. And this stuff is going to cost a pretty penny, you already know that. If you were curious, the event week this time around is the exact same one as last week with the double money on stunt races and bodyguard pay. That is mentioned at the end of the newswire, I just figured I'd throw it in this video just in case you guys were wondering. Now on the Diamond Casino and Resort website, there are four categories of information to go over. The first one is membership. There is a standard membership, probably for the people who don't buy the penthouse. And then there's the VIP membership, which gives you access to perks like the parking garage where you can admire others' collections. So I wonder if that means we can see other players' cars parked in there, kind of like a car show that can't get blown up like on my live streams. The valet service, which is probably just a glorified way of getting your car out to leave. Champagne service that looks to be the same as the nightclub champagne. Aircraft concierge, again, it probably works like the office helicopter services. Cleaning services, I don't really see how this is useful, but okay. The most interesting one by far is the limo services because it says they are able to take you almost anywhere in the state free of charge. And I can't see this working any other way but fast travel, otherwise it would just be way too slow that it wouldn't even be worth it and you'd probably get blown up by a Mark II oppressor. The members party allows you to call someone and start a party is basically what it's saying. There's a VIP lounge which doesn't sound too important. And finally as a resident guest you have access to high limit tables. Now those are quite a good amount of perks, so this is probably going to be really expensive, I know I keep saying that. Now on to the penthouse section. In your penthouse, you get a master bedroom with roof terrace access, a spare bedroom where you can invite friends over to sleep and change clothes, a spa room, a bar and party area, arcade games, an office which hopefully allows us to control our businesses from one central location, a garage of 10 cars, maybe more if there's more levels, a lounge area that enables you to add five other extensions to your suite, who knows what those are. A media room where you can watch movies and play Don't Cross the Line. And you can add artwork to your suite. This literally sounds like it's every single property shoved into one. There's no way this doesn't cost like 10 million dollars. You thought the yachts were expensive and luxurious? This sounds like way, like 10 times better than that. The third section is titled Casino and this one explains the games you can play. I'm just going to skim over it because it's basically what I said in the newswire. You have the table games like roulette, poker, and blackjack, the slot machines, the virtual track betting, and the lucky wheel. It says you can spin it once a day. I wonder if that means in real life days or in game days, which is every 48 minutes, I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of leaning more on the side of in game days because really the cash prizes aren't anything to write home about. I mean, $50,000, when it's probably going to cost like $10,000 to spin the wheel, that's not that much money. 
The last section discusses the casino store where you can buy exclusive items with chips. There are a few pictures uh, that I'm going to show on screen for you guys. There, There's really some nice artwork here. We got the yellow dog with a cone. Mm. Then we got Auntie Poppy. Then there's my gold collection, probably the most serious looking art piece here. And can we have that gold to put on our weapons? Jeez, that looks nice. And lastly, we have Silver Watcher. I just know right now that Rockstar is going to put outrageous price tags on these items, especially the dog. Watch the dog cost like 1 million chips or something just to troll us. But anyways, that is going to be all for this video. I will leave links to both the Newswire and the Casino Resort website in the description if you want to read everything yourself and admire the glorious art that I just showed you even more. This update is going to be interesting, that's for sure. Let me know if you guys are excited for the update in the comments section down below. I'm pretty excited for it. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP-related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.